Hey guys, let's get back to the topic of consumer behavior. In the last few lectures, we talked about a uh, budget set, which is what can we afford to buy given what three parameters. So the, all the available bundles uh, given what three parameters, and you should be able to guess that it is price of good one, price of good two, and income. So what we've talked about so far is that given those three parameters, what is affordable uh, out of all the bundles that we can buy. Now in the next topic, we're gonna talk about consumer preference is now how do we choose which we prefer over another. So now the consumer, uh, the budget set tells us what we can afford to buy. Now we're gonna talk about how do we choose between what we can afford to buy, which we prefer or not prefer. So that's what consumer preference uh, talks about. So the three things we have to be careful of when we are talking about consumer preferences. One is that we have to have tastes and preferences that are well-defined. So what we mean by that is that we need to be very clear whether I prefer one good over another versus you. So I might prefer clothes over chocolates more, you might prefer toys over chocolates. So we all have to be uh, within ourselves clear on what our tastes and preferences are. Next, we, these bundles have to be well defined and we need to be able to rank them. And I'll go over both of them. Uh, so well defined means, so the bundles we've talked about, uh, x1, comma x2, they have to be very well defined. So I need to know that whatever bundle I'm talking about, I have three units of good one or two units of good two, whatever that bundle is, it has to be very well defined. And thirdly, we need to be able to rank them uh, in, a, in a quantitative manner. So for example, we should be able to, uh, I'll ask you this question, if I give you two bundles, uh, this is three units of good one and three units of good two, and two units of good one and one unit of good two, you should be able to tell me which one you would prefer over the other. Very good, you should be able to guess that uh, this bundle A is always going to be preferable to bundle B because we have more of both X1 and X2 uh, in A relative to B. So that's what we mean by being able to rank them. Uh, they need to be well defined. And then we also have to know our individual tastes and preferences. So putting uh, these, these choices uh, more formally is a very important concept called the concept of monotonic preferences. What that means, I'll go over the definition and highlight some of the uh, important parts. So what we mean by that is, between any two bundles, A and B, uh, when you have X1 and X2 in each bundle, between any two bundles, a consumer, we will always be happier if we get one more of either of the two goods without having to give up any of the other good. So for, for example, if we, so what we, going back to the definition, we will always prefer a bundle where we have at least one more of either of the two goods without having to give up any of the other good. So this is referred to as monotonic preferences. So make sure you understand what we mean by this is that if there are two bundles and I, I get one more of good one without having to give up any of good two, I will always prefer that over the other bundle. So let's look at an example. So if I give you uh, these different preferences, if I give you these four choices, let's call them bundle A, B, C, and D, you should be able to rank them for me. So take a second to rank them for me. Uh, they should be fairly obvious. Uh, again, the, you know, each of these bundles has X1 is the first good and X2 is the second good. So given these choices, uh, you should be able to tell me that bundle A will always be preferable to bundle B, which will always be preferable to bundle C, which will always then be preferable to bundle D. So a couple of things uh, before we move on. So since bundle A is preferable to B, it, and B is preferable to C, which is preferable to D, A will always be preferable to all of these three. So what we can say is I am happier with bundle A relative to B, C, or D. Similarly, I'm happier with bundle B relative to C and D, and we only prefer bundle C over D, and D is our least likely bundle. So that's the bundle that will give us the least amount of happiness. So this is what we mean by being able to rank them monotonically, is if I have one more of one good without having to give up the other, I will always prefer that. Let me leave you with a question, and we'll address that in the next time. Compare bundle A to bundle E, which has two units of good one and four units of good two. So now when you look at these two bundles, think about you're getting some of good two, but you're giving up some of good one. So think about what you can tell about preferences between A and E, uh, which is going to be different between A, B, C, and D. Thank you.